Hello, I'm Spooey, and welcome back to some more Kingdom Come Deliverance. Now, last time, we got away from the big keep, and I'm really, really, really hungry. So, I'm just going to see what I can eat, you fucking bitch. I've still got to get used to just everything. It'd be nice if I could see a nourishment 15. Does that have to be at a hundred? Yeah, nourishment needs to go up. Yeah, that's the nourishment. That, oh God, sorry, sorry. Yeah, that was my bad. Um, so let's talk with this guy, and maybe we can get to that bed over there to rest. You've done well, lad. I'm sorry for your loss. You must be all done in. Why don't you go to the kitchen and have a good meal? Sorrow is easier to bear on a full stomach. I've already I've eaten. Of... What the hell? I can't understand why he'd waste his talents, but I'm sure he had his reasons. He had a fine reputation. It's a great loss. So Divish has suffered. I learned kitchens. Ah, milady. You are fortunate. Our good lady Stephanie of Talmberg has graced us with her presence. My lady, Pretty I'm sure honest. I've seen all this. Certainly. Ma so my next quest is to go and rest. I do believe. Um, I'm just having a little look about, to be honest. Oh, I actually needed to go here. Okay. I guess that works. What do are you doing? This I hear is... you came from Skelets today. Can you fuck you off? Me? I want to hey, sleep. Look... Fuck me. I'm in a private area. Excuse me. Right, I've had enough. Get out. What are you doing? Bitch, get out of the way. What the? Whoa! Seems I'm not good enough for the gems. No, you're not. Um. Don't even know what time it is. Um. What will give me the best? I'm gonna sleep for twelve hours. Today the patrols will be doubled. Keep your eyes peeled. If you see anything out of the ordinary, report it immediately. Understood? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes? It is I, Henry. Forgive the intrusion. I didn't wake you, boy, did I? Yes. My lady, uh, um... No, no, not at all. But what brings you here at this hour? I thought you could do with a little wine. What's with all the f wine? It's just what you need to help you sleep. My lady, um, thank you. You really shouldn't. You could have sent a servant. I was going to, but to tell you the truth, I couldn't sleep either. I thought of you while saying my prayers. How awful it must have been for you. I came to offer you solace. To let you know you're not alone. Thank you. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. Now, Henry, I know this is all very new and strange for you. But I want you to feel at home here. You're not to worry about anything except getting better. God knows you've been through a terrible ordeal. I know what it is to be left alone in the world. Although your loss is much greater. But with God's help, the pain will yes. ease in time. His help. And it can help to talk about it. If you feel like it. Fine, I'll tell you the story of the raid. You might be right, my lady. I'll tell you what happened. It was terrible and unexpected. The day started just like any other. Father sent me into town on some errands.
and to collect the debt. A fellow by the name of Kunesh owed money to father, who sent me to collect it from him. Only Kunesh had no intention of paying. It got a bit heated, as often happens when there's money involved, but Kunesh still wouldn't cough up the coin. Father was too generous for his own good, letting even a scoundrel like that buy on credit. Oh. When I'd done all the errands, I had to go. I promised father I'd help him with his work, and I was looking forward to it. He was forging a sword for Sir Radzik. The sword was taking shape when Sir Radzik I'm just going to tell the truth. At it. He praised father's work and said that with his smithing skills, he could easily make a living in Prague or Vienna. You don't say. You don't have much to say, do you? was already on the horizon, ready to attack the town. A horde of soldiers was amassed. Pennants flapped in the wind, the armour glinted in the sunlight, and the horses whinnied impatiently. They were waiting for Sigismund to give the command to attack. How awful. And then death descended on Scalitz. Oh, God. Father told me to take shelter in the castle while he went to get mother. She was stranded in the town, surrounded by Sigismund butchers. And then I saw him knocking down one cumin after another. And never saw him fight like that. But then the leader of Sigismund's raiding party, a knight in full armour, saw Father and charged at him. But then the leader of Sigismund's raiding party, a knight in full armour, saw Father and charged at him. He cut down my father without huh? a thought. And then he turned on my mother. And he murdered her in cold blood. You poor boy. May the Lord have mercy on their souls. I ran to the castle like our neighbours to take cover, but I didn't make it. I had to find another way to save myself. The men on the battlements called down to me to flee to Talmberg and warn you. I was lucky I knew a concealed path around the castle. I wasn't We're plundering. Safe. The Cumans were going from house to house below the castle, looting and then torching them. They encircled the castle, and it was clear they could spot me at any moment. May God punish them. Then I heard a scream. What? Just these one-liners. The mill wench. She'd been caught by a gang of Cuman savages who planned to violate her. Should I lie? I had Sir Radzik's sword. And even though there were several of them, and yes, lie. Armed, I had to try and save her. I wanted there to be at least one person I'd helped. And I succeeded, even though it almost cost me my life. After that, I stole a horse from them and rode off. Really? Oh. I'll never forget the horror. It will haunt me for the rest of my life. I learned women it's in the terrible. Middle Ages. How could something like that happen? God alone knows why he lets such things happen. Oh, you poor boy. I understand your grief, but God is not to blame for the ills of this world. That is the work of Satan and those who do his bidding. Those who are corrupted by greed, envy, and pride. You must not lose faith, whatever life brings. Fate has not been merciful to me. And my husband, either. Although, in comparison to the horrors you went through... I was young when I married my husband. It was my father's wish. Divish was a lot older than I, but a woman must bear her lot. Shortly after our marriage, before I even got a look at Talmberg, the castle was stormed and my husband was imprisoned. Really? My husband had some quarrel with Sir Havel Medek of Valdek, who decided to resolve it by force. I think it was. He stormed the castle, burned down quite the village common. of Pribislavitz, and killed many of our men. Even For, the old chamberlain. Um, the big age he gap. He imprisoned my husband in the castle in these and times. his own garrison there. That's awful. Because it was more about money and sort of wealth and power and shared I was alliance. I 18 than... years old and. All of a sudden, 
I was left alone with Sir Robert. We didn't know what to do. We went to Prague to appeal to the king and sought help from divisious friends, but all to no avail. We tried for years, but it seemed I was destined to be left alone and my husband to rot in jail in his own castle. Years, you say? Seven years. That's how long it took before Havel was condemned as an enemy of the crown. And even then, he refused to surrender the castle and release my husband. In the end, I raised the money to pay a ransom. And only then, by the grace of Lord Jesus, it's did Lord I Jesus lay now. eyes on my husband once more. Not God anymore. Seven years. And was Havel punished for it? Never. And after seven years, my husband returned to me an infirm old man. Sir so Divish seems like a good, strong man. Well, certainly. Only he has many concerns. He had to rebuild Talmberg. After he was released, the king appointed him Burgrave of Prague Castle, and he was very busy. He had no time for me at all. But at least we were in the city, and there was something going on. And now, we're here. My lady, you're still young and beautiful. No. Your best years are still ahead of you. Oh, fuck's sake. Would that that were true, lad. Would it were true. But what am I doing bothering you with this? You have troubles enough of your own. I'll go and let you sleep. No. I enjoyed our little talk, Henry. Good night, and God bless. Sit back Good down, night, my lady. You're not having sex. I don't care. Oh dear, nightmare. Move it, people! Come on, come on, come on, running out of time! Quickly! We have to close the gates! You can't go back! Henry, help us! Help us, son. Wow, that's a bit of a dark dream. Henry, wake up. You don't want to miss this. What is it? What's happening? Come to the battlements. One of our patrols reported a company heading here from Skelets. A company heading from Skelets? That's where I came from. Has some people got out, or... Is there some baddies? I can't fucking see a thing. It's pitch bloody black. Oh, there we go. I've got a torch. That's not the way out. How do I get out? Where's the bloody door? Right, there we go. Right. Oh, fuck. Come on. Come on, Henry. Henry. Uh, the gateway stairs were now where up here you'll happily tell them everything I I didn't think of that not that I'm spoiling for a fight but if I have to choose a place for one then right here behind solid walls oh they're not coming are they oh they best not be coming But don't be daunted by their numbers. Heed my commands, and all will end well. Hello. Hey, you men what down there. The hell Tell are the people you outside doing? the walls to prepare for attack. What the hell am I Quickly, doing? Do you understand? Hello. What's going on? What's going on? I don't know. 
It doesn't make sense. Why would Sigismund advance on Talmurg in the night? Especially since he's lost the element of surprise after the raid on Scalitz. Maybe it's, it's not him. Yeah, maybe it's not. Then who is it? The scouts Jivish sent to Scarlet's to spy on Sigismund said he'd set up camp and was getting ready to storm the castle. And so Radzig is an experienced soldier. He'd surely hold the castle for quite some time. It doesn't make sense. What else did the spies see? Not much of anything. Before they could get close enough, this huge storm started. And you were right. Sigismund has a hell of a lot of soldiers, including all manner of mercenaries. An army like that costs a fortune. Well, anyway, we'll find out when they get here, won't we? Aye, we will. That rain's getting quite loud. Oh no, they're, um... Halt! Who goes there? Lucifer and all his minions! Who else, Robber? Sir Antig! What a How did the hell did Is they get out? Is the there with you? Yes, sir, he is right here. What are you doing up so late, Divish? At your age, you need a good night's sleep. <laughs> well, Rantic, you didn't exactly pick the best time for an outing either. In a big hurry? It was a bit of a scramble, all right. Believe it or not, this Tempest is a godsend for me and my men. As my old granddad used to say, better a sore throat than a slit throat. I'd say your grandfather was a wise man. Your messenger told us what happened. Messenger? The lad you sent to warn us. He's alive? He made it to you? He's here with yes. me. He only got away by the skin of his teeth, though. Thank God. A brave young man. But tell me, friend, how on earth did you manage to get away? Yeah, and how did you? Tempest. When it began, Sigismund's Tatars crawled into their holes and left a storm into the castle for more clement weather. We were able to sneak out right under their noses. The Lord be praised. We wouldn't have stood a chance against them. Would you like to spend the night in Tumber? No, no. When Sigismund finds the castle empty tomorrow, he might come looking for us. We'd only be exposing you to danger. Without me and my men, he has no call to attack you. Well, what will you do then? We'll march to Ratai. It's only a short way, and there we'll have a better chance of defense. And enough room for all of these Yeah, people. everyone's getting cold. If we hurry up. If should come, better bend your knee, Divish. There's no point dying in a battle that's futile. You're right there. Is that boy still with you? Yeah, I'm just hiding. I'm here, sir. You have courage, lad. That I can't deny. I am sorry about what happened. Would you care to join us? I'd like to, sir, but first I have to return to Scalitz. Are you mad? What do you want there? I can't leave my mother and father. I won't leave their corpses rotting in the street. I'll join you once I've taken care of them. Don't even oh, think God. of going back there, you donkey. Are you <laughs> tired of living? But sir! Quiet! I'm sorry about your father. But getting killed as well won't help him. Divish, make sure that lad doesn't budge from Talmberg until things quieten down. Not to worry, friend. Anyway, he's injured and needs to recover. I'll lock him that up is here true. as if he were Havel of Baldic. I see you've grown a thick skin since your tribulation, sir. But thank you. We'll meet again when circumstances are more favourable. I don't Farewell. really like you. Farewell, friend. And good fortune. Give my regards to Sir Hanish. I will. And good luck to you and your people, too. These are dark times. Move out! No, I don't like him. Something about him I just don't like. Men, tonight we'll have triple patrol. Sort out the watches between you as always. And if I catch anyone boozing, playing dice or slacking off, I'll personally break every bone in his body. I want you to keep a close eye on everything nearby. Sigismund will surely have sent spies, and likely men as well, to follow the Scalitz people, now he knows they've fled. Keep your eyes peeled, and report everything to me at once. Understood? No one said, un no one said yes, sir, or anything. No, I'll just speak to you. Can I be of what help? You need? 
I could use an extra pair of eyes, and yours are keen. Will you keep watch on the battlements with my men? Is that a request or an order? I'd rather it was a request you answered yes to. Of course Well, you did offer your help. I have to pay you back somehow after all you've done for me. Splendid. And don't worry. I'll tell the men to relieve you later. Cheeky fucking sod. Be a bit more careful. Fuck off. I was just standing here. Keep watch on the battlements. Okay. I can't fucking see anything down there. What am I supposed to do? Something, something's going to happen. Someone's going to come along and go... <laughs> Look, oh, there, there are some guards. Oh, there's a light down there. There's a few lights. That might be inside the castle, that. Maybe. Yeah, it looks like it. So what am I looking out for, exactly? I'm pretty sure that's my quest. Anyway, oh! Wandering around like a stray sheep. Must be your first watch, eh? I don't think anything much will be happening today. You can just lean against the wall and wait till morning. I'll show you what's what. I will. What? Thank you. I can't just slack off. If you have to wait for something, you can skip time. Uh, Wait until morning. Let's try eight. Oh. Oh, fuck. Something's going wrong. What is that? Why is that happening? What's going on? Go to the battlements of the out. What? Why? What's going on? Fuck. What's going on? No one's telling me what's going on. Oh, fuckaroo. See how the self-appointed king wins the love and respect of his loyal subjects. Indeed, Robard. Sigismund of Luxembourg has a rare talent for winning people over to his cause. We may be in for a surprise. I don't think he will set his heathen dogs on us today. Greetings, Lord of Tomberg. <laughs> oh dear. Bastard who let the attack of Scarlet and kill my parents. Don't be an idiot. Do you want to end up like them? I am Sir Mark Vart von Aulitz. I come in the name of Sigismund of Luxembourg, King of Hungary and Croatia, who has resolved to strike against those who disrupt Concord in the land and to restore order in the name of his brother, King Wenceslaus IV. Restore order by burning and pillaging the king's estates. Greetings, Sir Markvart. The efforts of the king's brother to I bring agree order with mustache to this man. chaotic land are undoubtedly noble. It seems to me, though, that he and his army have somewhat strayed. As Burgrave of Prague Castle, I am entirely beholden to the king. And here in Taunberg, divine peace reigned until your arrival. To what, then, do we owe the honor of your visit? Yesterday, his majesty took action against the enemy of the kingdom, Sir Ratzik Kobila, who has been using the silver from the Scarlet's mine to fund insurrection against the crown. Unfortunately, the insurgent escaped. Would you happen to know, noble sir, where he might be at this time? As far as I know, the Sir Radzik of which you speak is the king's hetman at Scarlet's. 
I find it hard to imagine that he would rebel against our king. Nevertheless, I can assure you that Sir Radzik is not a Talberg. He would be a fool indeed to flee from one castle where he has little chance of defense to another where he has even less. Or do you take the view that my humble manner is any obstacle to your army? Don't Am piss I him off. I to inform the king then that Zeratsi Kobila is not a Tarnberg and that he has your loyalty. Sir Radzig Kobila is not here and I have no intentions of getting embroiled in affairs from which I have nothing to gain. Very well, sir. As you wish. I will relay your words to the king in the hope he will be as well disposed as you seem to be. Those who have clean consciences and good will may find themselves well disposed even at moments like this, when there is little cause for joy. Farewell, sir. Auf Wiedersehen. Goodbye, then. What are you telling them exactly? Thank God, I thought you were going to fire on the city then. Don't cheer too bloody loud. Get on with you, Robard. 